Space represents very challenging extreme environment due to radiation, microgravity, and communication latencies. So it is very important for us to use robotic systems to assist human. Starlab stands for Space Technology for Autonomous and Robotic Systems Lab. We are a team of academic scholars, roboticists, and computer scientists who share the same vision to develop AI robotics for space. Starlab was originally over 10 years ago within the Surrey Space Center at the University of Surrey in the United Kingdom. We believe AI and robotics are the important technologies for the long-term development of space technology and space missions. At the Star Lab, we have expertise in orbital robotics in terms of 3D perception and navigation. This is extremely important technology to enable applications such as satellite servicing or assembly of large space telescope. In uh, this uh, orbital test beds, we're using visual grasping of uh, targets on orbit. Uh, where we're investigating how a robot could be autonomously grasp a satellite or a part of a space debris uh, from visual input. And we're also using uh, robotic uh, grippers, hands. Shadow Robots is a robotics technology development company. Shadow Robot hands are one of the most advanced robotic hands that are currently available in the market. Star Lab is offering us the opportunity to use their mock-up environments and also the research facilities to test our robotic hands in various space scenarios. The collaboration with Shadow Robotics will really enable grasping and manipulation orbits with arbitrary objects in terms of varying size, mass, and shape. And this really enlarged the capability of the end-to-end -end system that we are trying to demonstrate. Planetary robotics play a significant role in terms of exploration and close examination of extraterrestrial bodies. Our technologies in planetary robotics has been primarily focusing on next generation of mobility system. The rover here is named Marcel for mobile active rover chassis for enhanced locomotion. The chassis of this rover uh, has an internal actuation that follows a locomotion that is halfway between leg locomotion and wheel locomotion, so it can actually crawl. I am from GMV. Uh, GMV are a multinational technology company. Currently we have uh, an active proposal we're working with Starlab on, which is using next generation autonomy and chassis techniques for small robotic systems to enter underground terrains in challenging environments on the lunar surface. There are also technology we developed to enable subsurface mobility, such as the drill system that we developed inspired by the wood wasp. This drilling system is combining both uh, main motion, the reciprocation motion and also the vibration motion together. We are also working on developing the different kind of drill bit like uh, convex, concave with different uh, cross-section contours. The jaw reciprocating drill can be used for uh, drilling into planetary regoliths uh, such as on the Moon and on Mars want to create an actual system that will be small, will be lightweight and will attach to one of our planetary rovers to actually test it in the field. Starlab is very active in knowledge and technology transfer into other sectors that also deal with extreme environment such as nuclear, oil and gas and agriculture. The machine vision technique we developed based on deep learning allows us to very effectively detect anomalies through images. We would like to develop an inspector robot. The robot usually will go around the plant, detect if there is any gas leakage or abnormal situation. To do so, he uh, used a laser rangefinder and the RGBD camera uh, to build the 3D reconstruction of the environment. And we use the thermal camera to detect any change in the normal operation situation. 
I work at RACE, which is a um, lab specialising in robotics for hazardous environments. Uh, it's also part of the UK Atomic Energy Authority. I'm also working here at the University of Surrey in the Star Lab. So the work I'm doing is making use of a technique called generative adversarial networks, which are a type of deep learning technique. We're looking at components in nuclear reactors. By comparing the model of what's normal with actually what's measured in the environment, you can detect things which are anomalous. StarLab has a very open policy when it comes to collaboration. So we are opening these facilities to collaborators worldwide so that we can help each other to push the boundaries of the state of our technology in artificial intelligence and robotics.